From beautiful downtown Wadsworth, Ohio, it's time again for the annual Blue Tip Parade, this being the 29th annual. And we have a sun-drenched evening here at the corner of College and North Lyman Street, where we are videotaping today's parade right in front of Wadsworth Public Library. Hi again, everybody. This is John Bernard, and again with me this year is Joanne Kane, director for the Center of Older Adults here in town, and here comes Wadsworth's finest, and right behind them, Joanne, go ahead. Hi, everybody. Wow. This is a beautiful night, and uh, now we're going to be looking at the VFW Post 1089 Color Guard. Clarence Rook and the Color Guard are a tradition at the Wadsworth Blue Tip Parade. They've led the parade for as long as anyone can remember, and their appearance signifies the beginning of another great blue tip parade. And great weather, as it seems we've always had here the past few years. And you're seeing the color guard now go by us, and right behind them, there's the Wadsworth High School Band. They've won numerous awards again this year. And everyone knows why, always a Great tradition at Wadsworth High is the marching band. Blue Tip Parade signifies the start of the Blue Tip Festival here in Wadsworth. Blue Tip Match Festival is named for the products of the Ohio Match Company, formerly located on Main Street, and it was once the largest single match manufacturing plant in the world. And here are the Wadsworth High School cheerleaders. The varsity, junior varsity, and freshman high school cheerleaders under the direction of Jackie Arbe, Laura Clayton, and Pam Douglas. Coming into view here now is the Grand Marshal float. Uh, our Grand Marshal this year is Mr. Charles Parsons. Uh, Mr. Parsons is re retiring as the superintendent of Wadsworth City Schools this August. He started with the school system in 1970 as an English teacher and later became the dean of students at the Central Middle School. Mr. Parsons then became uh, principal at Valley View Elementary before moving to the senior high school to serve as assistant principal and then principal. Mr. Parsons was appointed to the superintendent position in 1986. He's been the recipient of BASA Exemplary Education Leadership Award, uh, Martha Holding Jennings Administrative Leadership Award, and the University of Akron Distinguished Education Alumni Award. Going by us after Mr. Parsons was the Disabled American Veterans, and that's chapter number 72 from Medina County under the direction of Jim Anderson. And here's our lovely mayor, Cesar Carino, making his second appearance as mayor, and he's supposed to be riding with his wife Linda, it says on our notes, but he is not. That is Miss Wheelchair Ohio, Diana Warren, you're seeing on your screen now. She's from Canton, Ohio. She loves to bowl and is secretary for her bowling league. She's traveling all over the state promoting the pageant and people with disabilities. Okay, now we're looking at um, the Sun Newspapers float, the Sun Banner Pride Citizen of the Year. There was. Uh, wanted to say, Joanne, before us was the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 170. The parade flying by here. It's we didn't even get them on the camera here. Um, uh, and here we are with the... Um, the sunflower you uh, saw was the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, yeah, the, uh, but the Sun's uh, newspaper citizen of the year is Martha Smith. Thank we you. did want to be uh, mention uh, that she's been a volunteer with Band Boosters, Red Cross, Red Cross Bloodmobile, Wadsworth Hospital volunteer, and she's very active in her church. There's the float for the Chamber of Commerce on your screen. 
And their float sponsored by Huntington National Bank. Featured riders on the float are the recipients of the 21st Annual Rosie Awards. Uh, it always seems, Joanne, either the parade flies by and we miss everything, or there's a huge lull in which we have to sit here and think about things to talk about. Exactly, and uh, right now uh, there, there's a little uh, stop here because uh, they are lighting the match down on the square. So uh, we have several vehicles stopped right here in front of us. These and are see, what you're seeing now is the car uh, with Vicki Sussman, who is uh, running for treasurer. Oh, she's the business leader of the year, but she is also candidate for office. That is not Vicki driving the car, though. And um, I think. Um, um, if you can, uh, as you see these cars go by, uh, these cars are Studebakers, and uh, they're uh, some really great cars. They're, I think there is a, a Studebaker club in the area, and um, I'm sure these belong to members of the club. Great vehicles. I guess uh, we can talk a little bit more about the um, those Studebakers. Uh, one is a 1963 Studebaker Do Daytona Skytop Superlark. Uh, there's a 1953 Studebaker Commander. Actually, I owned one of those in my youth. Um, and a 1964 Studebaker Avanti and an 87 Avanti Convertible. And um, these are per the personal vehicles of Gary Williams, who's brought them to the parade again this year. We're glad you could join us here on WCTV for Blue Tip Parade coverage, 29th annual here in the year 2001. And every June, the community celebrates the festival and the parade. And there's a lot going on again this year for the Blue Tip Festival. Of course, the Miss Wadsworth pageant is back this year. Uh, a lot of goings on down at Memorial Park. You know, John, so. I was thinking earlier that when this parade started, the first year this parade was held, the year 2001 seemed like a fiction fantasy. And here we are, sitting right here uh, 29 years later. Now we're going to take a look at the Purple Pride Twirlers. This is their fifth year in the Blue Tip Parade under new director Margie Blake. They are a nonprofit and self funded organization in Barberton, and they practice seven months before their first parade. And they love making the annual trip here to the Blue Tip. Quite a few from the purple purlers here. We have a baton twirler leading off the troops. There's a truck behind her and then a ton more twirlers. I think these folks are going to be pretty exhausted when they reach the end of the parade route because they're marching right into that hot sun. Things should get moving here in just a moment or two. I think they're finished lighting the match, just about finished. Unfortunately, we cannot see that from our location here in front of the library. And I was going to say, John, before, um, uh, just uh, so you didn't confuse people, you told them that we're at the corner of uh, College and, North and Lyman. Lyman, and we're on Broad Street. Okay, <laughs> you're right. John's, it's John's only lived in Wadsworth this whole My life. whole life, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but uh, it, you, you did say we were in front of the library, so I think that clarified it a bit. Yes, everyone knows as well as I, but <laughs> east of the square, it becomes Broad Street. That's right. From the square west, it is College Street. Yes, That's I right. thank you for correcting me on that because I'm sure there were people at home saying, uh, no, you're wrong. People? Where are these people actually sitting? <laughs> yes. Well, we are in front of the library. And you did something you did mention right before we came on the air, Joanne, was a little bit of a sparse crowd this year. I'm surprised not, not as uh, packed with people. Normally, this area we're sitting in is two, three deep. And, and I remember past couple of years, kids all around us here yes, and yes. there's none yeah well you know it is it is a pretty pretty hot evening and some people may have um, decided to watch the parade in an area that's more shaded because we are well I guess we should tell people we are where it is very hot right now <laughs> there's a youngster enjoying himself and now we're going to move, thank heavens. As the purple pride twirlers now make their way by us. The semi you see approaching, I think, is holding the purple, not the purple pride twirlers. We already talked about them, but the Miss Wadsworth pageant representatives. Here, oh, yes. Now we're seeing the, the um, yes, I understand that the, um, um, Crowning will be at the Galaxy Restaurant and Sunday, June 24th, starting at 10 a.m. And um, now, in past years, Joanne, the Miss Wadsworth pageant it, it went through a, a hiatus there, and now it's back. But previous years, it only included girls that were seniors at Wadsworth High. Right. And this year, it is now for girls between the ages of four and 20. And they'll, of course, crown different Miss Wadsworths in different age groups. Right, yeah. Well, that'll give a lot of people, a lot of young ladies, the opportunity to participate. It's a pretty impressive float. There are a lot of young ladies on there. We can get a sneak preview of all the contestants. fashion cars going by us. One is 1955 Chevrolet, George Cottrell driving his car, and then... Um, let's see. We okay, no, I skipped. Edward Bird was in the... one Morris of his two Minor. antique cars, yeah. yeah. The 61 Morris Minor. And the black one was the 31, 31 Chevy. Chevy. And uh, let's see, I think we, uh, it's already passed you, but uh, Lolly the Trolley uh, passed us with uh, residents of Magnolia Care and Rehabilitation Center. There they are. Center. Yeah, we're seeing them now. I think these folks uh, really enjoy participating in the parade. Uh, they've uh, been in the parade since 1991. And Miss Magnolia Francis Wright is riding in the back of the car you're looking at right now. Now the flags you see 
are representing the Medina County Detachment Number 569 Marine Corps League. Commandant Jerry Oppie, would you say? O-P-P-I-E, mm -hmm. continues their proud heritage as U.S. Marines. And they're there uh, recreating Raising of the flag on Iwo, Iwo Jima, Jima yes. Mm -hmm. The vehicle uh, that you see, saw, uh, too, was, is a uh, weapons carrier from 1952 owned by John Daig. <coughs> and the young ladies you see waving now represent the Brunswick Old Fashioned Days Festival. Queen Charlene Cunningham and her attendants Katie Kloss and Dawn Summers are riding in a 1969 Plymouth Fury convertible. And behind them was the residents of Sterling Oaks. And they're in this year's parade with some of the residents. Now here's a new twist, John. Inline skaters carrying the banner for um, Realty One. Uh, Realty One has an office in Wadsworth and um, uh, they treat their customers with the understanding that buying or selling a home is among the most important decisions one makes in a lifetime. And I'd like to give ourselves a disclaimer here. We apologize if we can't quite get to everything on our script here. Everything flies by, and then we have our cameramen getting particular shots, and sometimes you may see we aren't talking particularly about what you see on your screen. But we're trying as best we can to follow the script and what is going by on your screen. So and we get to as much of it as we can. Sometimes we must admit this is, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty tough job. Um, That's the Realty One float passing by. And behind them is Wadsworth Municipal Judge Steve McIlvain. And he's joined today by members of the court staff and friends. Okay. Yes, the staff is with him, too. And how rather ironic that the uh, Sheriff Hassinger's, Hassinger's troops follow right behind the judge. Yes, the mounted patrol. Um, and once again, I will, I will say at this time, um, we know this is the mounted patrol, don't we, John? But this is not, not, not on our, our list. script. I think uh, it probably appears someplace later on in our script, but maybe these folks are coming out of order. I don't know. But anyway, we're always glad to see the mounted patrol in the parade, and I think everybody looks forward to seeing this. These are. Do they have the guy with the shovel that follows behind I, them. I don't know. I don't I don't see him. <laughs> uh, now, uh, those uh, deputies are definitely not on horses, are they? <laughs> no, that they, looks they like have, a day at the beach. They there. have an easy an easier seat than those uh, stride the horses, I think. Oh, there's, there's the there's the guy with the shovel. <laughs> Oh, oh, here comes, uh, yes, lady with a shovel. Yes, she's running now behind the <laughs> horses with the snow shovel. Oh, what a okay. job. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we'd rather sit in the sun and fry. Uh, so now we're looking at Clamco Products. Um, it is owned and uh, operated by local Wadsworth residents Jim and Linda Venner. Uh, this year's banner year for Clamco as it marks the company's 30th anniversary. Uh, they provide their customers with quality T-bolt clamps and um, other uh, clamps and coupling products. And the jump roping you see going on is members of the Jammin' Jumpers, a jump rope group. Now, I'm not sure I'd want to be doing this in the hot sun on <laughs> this evening. I'm not sure and I'd want to be doing what I'm doing right now, <laughs> let well, alone jumping rope. And uh, they're, they're only about halfway through this parade route, so if they're jumping there through the whole route, it's going to be quite, uh, quite an effort. 
little house you see on the right of your screen there is a float for Trinity United Church of uh, Christ. I know it's Habitat for Humanity. No, it's Trinity. Oh. See the red shirts? Okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, they've recently called Jackie McMillan, a pastor for membership and mission. She joins Reverend Jonathan Knight, senior pastor on the float with the Bible school children as they continue their mission focus, Habitat for Humanity. Okay. Trinity welcomes all to worship and mission involvement in the community. Worship is at 9.30 a.m. on summer Sundays. And at Trinity United Church of Christ is located at 215 High Street here in Wadsworth. And here, coming up, right behind the uh, Trinity float, is brand new troop number 766. Uh, they're being led by Becky Benya and Regina Cole. The troop is made up of 21 girls from the Overlook third grade classes. And in a city truck behind the Brownies is the Wadsworth Recreation Department Steiner Youth Center entry. And they've written a book for us to read about, but Many activities going on in the summertime up at Steiner Youth Center for your children to enjoy swimming and different sports camps and give them a call and you can find out all about that. There's the Tornadoes DD soccer team. The double D team name is Tornadoes. They're coached by Greg Sontag and Steve Smith. Okay, and right behind them we had Kinder Care Learning Center. They're located at 135 Smoke Rise Drive. They provide quality care and education for your child. Uh, you can contact them and check them out if you need that kind of uh, service. And then coming up here is the First Assembly of God. Uh, the members are carrying flags of different colors, which represent the rainbow, and the rainbow represents God's promises to us. Uh, the Blitz Youth Ministries from the First Assembly of God and the youth pastors, Jeremy and Julie Gorky, uh, their a theme is, when you are a Christian, life is an adventure. It's quite a group they've got there. You see the different colored flags. And coming up here, um, I think you had a shot of it here on your um, screen a minute ago, is um, the uh, YMCA, um, uh, Medina YMCA Indian Guides. Uh, this is a program allowing fathers and children the ability to have fun together. Uh, it's open to all fathers and their children ages 5 to 12 years of age. And uh, their motto is, friends forever, pals always. We seem to have a little um, stoppage up here. Yeah. Well, John, I think when it, when the parade is over, everybody will be heading down to. Memorial Park to the festivities down there. I know everybody looks forward to that. I, I really liked the way it was set up last year, didn't you? Yeah, it was, it's now, last year was the first year they started setting it up on the north side of Wadsworth Grizzlies uh, Artwright Stadium. And all the years I can remember since I was a kid, it was on the south side. Right. 
but it um, I thought it worked out very nicely. It was a, a really nice arrangement. And uh, now that they have the Kaleidoscope playground there, and there's a restroom open now there at Kaleidoscope. And, and if it rains, I think it's uh, <laughs> a lot nicer than it was when it was in the other location because there's uh, pave, pavement there to be on. Yeah, after the parade tonight, uh, they will give out the awards at Memorial Park for the entries in tonight's parade. Okay, well, uh, passing here on our monitor now are the Indian guides. And really not on the monitor, John, but uh, passing by us are uh, Wadsworth Youth Wrestling. And uh, they had another outstanding season. 11 wrestlers qualified for the youth state meet. And placing for Wadsworth were Dan four, six, Derek four, fourth, Brad Squire third, Ryan Capps third, and Matt Snodgrass was the youth state champ. I see Chris Kali too. He was a Ohio State champion for high school wrestling, along with the youth wrestlers. The Wadsworth Youth Football Association, right behind the wrestlers. Sign-ups for Wadsworth Youth Football this year are June 30th and July 14th at Steiner Youth Center from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Ages to sign up are 8 to 13 years old. Got several teams here. We've got the Browns and the Redskins. Hey, those Browns, they look like a tough team, don't they? <laughs> All right. I love it. We're going to get a look at the Redskins, too. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we, we need to explain, too, that uh, what we're looking at right in front of us is often... Not what comes, you're looking at on your yeah, screen, yes. Because the cameraman isn't looking at the same thing the, we're looking the, at. Yes, the cameraman cannot hear what we are saying. Only our director can, so the director has to pick and choose. Okay, here we are, the Bethany Friends Sunshine Kids and Youth Group. Um, they want to invite kids uh, ages 3 to 12 years of age to the Kids Connection Carnival and Youth Rally on July 15th to 19th. And uh, family camp starts September 5th, so come and enjoy the fun. And uh, then also you see the Fitz Group, Fun in the Sun Youth Group of Bethany Friends Church. Fitz for short. They would like to invite all teens to come and join in the fun. Okay. Here comes the... Here we have a Boy police Scout. car from uh, Independence that we're looking at <laughs> right now. I'm not sure how that fits in, but uh, as John says, here's Boy Scouts Troop, Troop 402 from United Methodist Church, led by Scoutmaster Sergeant John Smith in okay. the Independence police car. Yeah, as I always okay. say, keep reading on and you'll <laughs> find out. Boy Scouts of America now waving at us, not on your screen. There they are. That's PAC 3402 from United Methodist Church, led by Cubmaster John Madigan, Cubmaster Assistant Mark Gruska. Sorry if I botched that. Secretary Ramona Zimmerman and volunteering mom Emily I-L-E-S is how it's spelled. Iles. Thank you. Iles. Wadsworth Early Education Center, now open and operated by Kathy Eads. This center provides preschool for ages three to five. You can call Kathy for more info, 336-3666. Register now for fall classes. That's Wadsworth Early Education Center. And 
coming up, let's see, in a minute we're going to be looking at uh, the folks from Franklin School. The new Franklin School is now located at 200 Tacus Drive. The original school was built in 1915 and the new school opened its doors on August 24, 2000. First year, 335 students attended the school. And on the uh, tractor pulling this float, you'll see the principal, Mr. Roger Havens, and um, many, oh, thank you. One of those little folks from the uh, Franklin School just gave us a wooden nickel. Um, the school is noted for its strong academic achievement, and uh, these uh, children are representing Pioneer Week activities. Um, I also want to say that uh, uh, this past year, the students collected over 13 tons of aluminum and came in third place in the region with, and fifth in the nation in the, uh, their aluminum recycling project. Breakpoint After School Club was right behind Franklin School. It's a community after school club for fifth to eighth graders. The administrator is Deborah Blind, and activity assistants are Justin Shank and Andy Hall. The club provides indoor and outdoor recreation, computers, tutoring, and community service. Register now for next school year. Okay, now we're looking at the Norton Amateur Soccer Club. Um, they're coached by Tammy Taylor and Jerry Lemon. And uh, with them is the instructional team, the Red Devils, coached by Kelly and Toby Nestor. The 4-H club is now right in front of us in the gray pickup truck, not on your screen at the moment. And the Wadsworth Fantastics 4-H Club is a group of hard-working young people trying their best to uphold the 4-H pledge. And the big float with the balloons you see on it there is First Christian Church. This is the Vacation Bible School children from First Christian Church of Wadsworth. During this exciting week, they have over 100 children attending. The Vacation Bible School theme this summer is Sun Creek Junction. And right there in the middle of your screen with the straw hat, that's my son. Oh, all right. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Okay, now here comes the Kovacs Realtors Float. Riding on the float today is a great team of realtors with family and friends from the Kovac Realtors Office here in Wadsworth. And a very patriotic float it is. Very nice looking. Thank you to the folks from Kovacs for these nice fans, which we can really use. <clears throat> and the cheering you hear going on is Pinnacle Gymnastics out of Medina, Ohio. They opened in September of 1998. Pinnacle Gymnastics offers a complete range of gymnastics from parent-child through competitive team, as well as cheer classes and tumbling. Pinnacle Gymnastics is proud to show off its training team and competitive team members, and I'm assuming that's who you were looking at twirling around there. Uh, that's something I'd want to try at my age. Wow, look at that. That's pretty fantastic. No, well, I think they have a, some of them have a lower center of gravity yeah. than you do, John. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Okay, now coming up here is our Medina County Auditor, Mike Kovac. Um, and, um, and he just threw me a popsicle. Love it. Well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, and here is, um, uh, let's see, I don't know who's in this Corvette. Let's David see. Klinger. Okay. That, no, and John uh, Cox, that's a Cutlass. Uh, that's coming up. Okay, uh, so they've got us all messed up again. Well, that's going to be on your screen here in a minute, right there. I think we're looking that's at That's the Cutlass, the 1969. And uh, we have a couple of other nice cars coming up here. Uh, 1960 Pontiac Star Chief. Uh, it's owned by Becky's Cottage Floral. They have two locations, one on Kenmore Boulevard and one in Doylestown. The car is being driven by Daniel Bishop. Uh, next coming up here on your screen will be um, the uh, Wadsworth Kiwanis and uh, Sonnet's Coffee House and Cafe. Uh, the Kiwanis has been serving the Wadsworth area since 1970. They meet every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. at Sonnet's Coffee House. Uh, Sonnet's features light breakfast and lunch, and uh, stop by and join the Kiwanis and Sonnet's serving the Wadsworth community. Wadsworth Tractor is now paused right in front of us. They have two nice tractors on that trailer. And um, look like they'd be, if you have a big lawn to mow, that'd be the thing to have. There's Johnny's vintage motorcycle company that just passed by. Owner John Bova of Johnny's Vintage Motorcycle Company specializes in antique vintage Harley Davidson and Kawasaki motorcycles and parts. And they've been in business since 1984. Now, just in case all these vehicles get stuck, here comes Wadsworth Towing. Uh, Wadsworth Towing is uh, towing a race car they sponsor, owned by Steve Schickler. There's the race car. And on our monitor now, and on your screen, from the fire trucks. From Wadsworth uh, Fire Department and surrounding communities. The Wadsworth Fire Department sponsors many different categories to win trophies for the different departments. And thank goodness we're in the quiet zone. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Ah, now there's a firehouse dog for you. That's a great one. Wadsworth EMS. Truthfully, uh, whoever is in that costume I give him a lot of credit. <laughs> yes. It can't, it can't be too uh, air conditioned. And the firemen are holding bingo Wednesday through Saturday night at the Blue Tip Festival from 7 to 11 p.m. Okay, now we're looking at Copley Fire Department. There are representatives here from all our surrounding communities, and uh, I think it's really great that they all come and want to participate in the parade. And I think it's very interesting to see the different fire equipment that the communities have.
very many fire trucks on their way by us. I'm John Bernard and Joanne Kane again with me this year, and we'll just let them pass by as you enjoy. Not much we can say about it. They're fire trucks. But they, uh, they are interesting. Uh, it's uh, interesting to see that um, not all communities use the traditional red. Uh, Ritman has yellow, and I believe Medina has um, a it's chartreuse. All the lime green yeah. kind of color. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is very visible. Uh, actually, when you're on the road and uh, you look up in your mirror, you see that yellow or that chartreuse very clearly. We've got quite a long line of these vehicles passing by. I think I'll, with this fire truck moment going on, I'll take a drink break. Uh, here's our uh, Medina County Hazardous Materials Response Team passing by. And uh, I think that's important for everyone to know that we do have a very active um, and alert hazmat team in this county. Oh. The truck with the flags on the front is from Bath. Now this, this is an antique fire truck from Doylestown, Chippewa Township Fire Department. Okay, I'm back. I think that finishes uh, the uh, fire truck 
contingent and uh, now we're looking at uh, the folks from Hamrick Driving School and uh, that says student driver. I don't know if that is a student at the wheel or not but uh, I guess we're safe because they're only moving about five miles an hour so <laughs> I don't think we have to worry too much. Uh, Approaching behind Hamrick is Wadsworth Public Library, right where we are located now. And what do the Wadsworth Library bookmobile and an ice cream truck have in common? They both deliver lots of fun right to your neighborhood all summer long. You can even enjoy the summer reading club on the bookmobile and become eligible for prizes and reading awards. Be sure to watch for all the changes coming at the main library, too. Groundbreaking for the new addition should take place in the next few weeks. The brand new children's room is going to feature a very special surprise for all Bookmobile fans. Aha. Uh -huh. And you know what, John? I know what it is. <laughs> I think we are going to have a fabulous library when this uh, when this new edition is completed. Of course we have a fabulous library already and I will say that I, I love our library and I think they do a great job. One yeah. of the best libraries In the country. I've ever been to anywhere. Uh, well here comes one of uh, a lot of people's favorites the Tadmore Shrine Temple and boy there's a lot to talk about with them. Here come the Shriners. These units are from Tadmore Temple in Akron. They are one of 191 temples in North America. The Shriners are noted for their bands, calliopes, colorful marching units, and most of all for the 19 crippled children's hospitals and three burn institutes. Their ambassadors unit under the direction of Jim McNeil leads them. And next comes the Legion of Honor. They just passed by us under the direction of William Helmick. The Legion Go Honor. The Legion Go Honor doesn't make any sense. Anyways, they're carrying flags of Mexico, Canada, Panama, and the U.S. These countries all have Shriners Hospitals for crippled children. All of the color guard is former members of the U.S. Armed Forces. Followed by Tad Moore's Devon. Corps of Officers comes from all over North Central Ohio. always look forward to this part of the parade. I know the kids love these little vehicles that scoot around here. The red four-wheelers are the Tadmore Gojo unit. And Ed Allenbaugh is the president of them. You know, uh, John, they, these uh, Shriners hospitals, uh, there are 19 children's hospitals for crippled children and three burn institutes where all the care is free. And the Shriners admit children who have not reached their 18th birthday and can be helped by the hospitals. There's uh, Dazzle the Clown. These notes they've given us, Joanne, boy, all out of order here. 
Uh, well, I think um, the folks at home can certainly see that um, the um, these are Harleys uh, that are from Tadmore's Temple, Temple Guard. Guard. Mm -hmm. And um, the three wheel motorcycles are all antiques that uh, were first put into service as police motorcycles in the early 50s. And I think uh, the, the rest of them are new and they're new Harleys. Or maybe not new, but they sure look new. And uh, as we know, people who own Harleys love their bikes and keep them beautiful. Now here, isn't that cute? That little, that little vehicle is adorable. That's on your screen right now. It is a mini, um, <laughs> mini 18 wheeler, I guess you'd say. That is really neat. Um, uh, you know, going back to uh, the hospitals and burn units, Tadmore is currently sponsoring over 325 children, and uh, treatment is given without regard to race or religion. And if you do know of a child who needs treatment, you can contract contact a Shriner and he'll put you in contact with the proper um, people. Here comes the Two Wheel Dreams Mini Moto. Two Wheel Dreams Mini Moto is new in Wadsworth, located on College Street. These things are really fascinating. They are toddler-sized motorcycles that any size adult can ride on. They're really something. They are amazing. And quickly going by us, McCammon Hardwood Floor Refinishing, specializing in installation and refinishing of hardwood flooring. You can call them at 336. 8008. And they just threw me a t shirt and some coupons and all kinds of stuff. Here's the t shirt they threw me Wadsworth, home of the Grizzles. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and they sponsor the Iceman race car. Okay, what have we coming up here? That's Anschutz Furniture and Custom Moving. They're the local connection for all your furniture needs. Sealy mattresses, Sealy furniture. They also, um, <clears throat> you know, Anschutz is also custom moving service, and um, they specialize in uh, helping you move from one item to a whole house full. They're licensed to cover all of Ohio. They. You can call them for a price. They have packing materials, and uh, they've been serving the area since 1984. Okay, here comes Alter Pet. Uh, this is a nonprofit organization formed to provide a low-cost neutering and spaying program for cats and dogs. Uh, they're also committed to finding good, permanent, happy homes for cats and dogs. And now you're looking at Alberto's Italian Corner, locally owned and operated by Steve and Georgia Alberto. They would like to thank Wadsworth for one great year and many more to come. Stop in and join them for some great Italian food. Okay, coming up here we have National Lodge number 568.
For the past uh, few years, this lodge, free and accepted Masons, have built parade floats to honor famous Masons. Uh, floats from the past have honored George Washington, Henry Ford, John Glenn, and Benjamin Franklin. This year's uh, float honors Samuel Clements, also known as Mark Twain, storyteller, author, and Freemason. And can you believe we are now only a third of the way through the parade? Here's the Salvation Army. They've been helping the Wadsworth community for many years under the new direction of Captain Tom Grace and his wife, Captain Debbie Grace. They are excited about serving the Wadsworth community. Now I see some more uh, youngsters twirling batons and dressed in purple, but it's not the purple they're not from Barberton. No, they're not the group we saw. <laughs> These folks are from Worcester. And uh, yeah, actually Triway, which is in Worcester. The Titan Twirlers, made up of Triway School District girls ranging from kindergarten to ninth grade. 55 members strong under the direction of Jane Robbins. So sit back and enjoy their routine and music to the Backstreet Boys, Larger Than Life. Coming up here in the, this uh, red Butte convertible is Medina County Commissioner Pat Geisman. She has the honor of being Medina County's first woman to be elected county commissioner. She was first elected in 1992 and is now serving her third term as commissioner. Uh, Bob Schaefer of Wadsworth is the owner and driver of the 55 Buick convertible. He purchased the car in 55 and renovated it in 92. And there was my favorite as a kid, Joanne, the Ratacycle. Oh, yes. Pete Ratamaker, the Olympic boxing champ in 1956. We won the gold medal with three knockouts, including in the finals in Melbourne, Australia. Australia, excuse me, and then he was selected to lead the American athletes and carry the American flag in the closing ceremonies of the Olympic Games. He carried the torch as it passed through Cleveland in June 1996, and Pete has participated in 290 parades since 1989, and he's a repeat performer in the blue tip. Uh, I remember him from well, as long I ago as I can remember. And, uh, you know, uh, we just had the Tri-County Senior Olympics in Akron uh, last month, and uh, Pete was uh, the keynote speaker at the opening ceremonies. Got everybody off to a good start. The Trading Post, week. Trading Post newspaper you saw, they're celebrating their 26th anniversary this year, and they bring buyers and sellers together with a newspaper that is fun to read. Trading Post is delivered free to every home in Southern Medina and Northern Wayne County. I think today the carriers are having a lot of fun. They're not delivering newspapers today. Poor John, he's trying to get the carriers to stop and give him some candy, well, and they just went on by. That was my cousin's daughter there. Oh. <laughs> here, With the trading post. We are looking uh, here at uh, the uh, van with Judge Bill Batchelder on the back. Um, he is the presiding judge at the 9th District Court of Appeals. He has over 33 years of legal experience and is a former Medina County Court of 
common pleas judge and he also was our state representative for many years. Compu stuff offering a blue tip special of 20% off all general inkjet cartridges at their store located in Great Oaks Plaza this week only. And you can see them for all your computer upgrades and repairs. Okay, I don't know if we got that on that there. We're seeing now Rebecca Hol Holbin, uh, also known as Mrs. Monte Carlo, is driving her 1972 Monte Carlo named Stack. <laughs> Alrighty. And I think coming up here now, we're looking at All Creatures Veterinary Clinic. They're happy to participate once again in the parade. Uh, their first appearance was 11 years ago. And uh, All Creatures takes great pride in providing your pets with quality health care at an affordable price. And as I look at our script, and then I look down the street, I could, I could have told you who it was holding the parade up without looking at who was next. But it is our own float here in the parade, WCTV's entry. And representing us are the paintball guys from the show, The Ultimate Game Paintball. And uh, that would be Roger Polk, folks, holding up the parade. He is, has a camera in tow, I know that, filming the crowd as they go by. Uh, and that tape will be aired separately from this parade you are watching now. You can actually watch the tape from their golf cart. Here they come. That's going to be on at 8 tomorrow on WCTV. Well, Channel it may, they may be watching it tomorrow already, so. <laughs> Whoops, here they Holding come. up the parade again. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Now we have Wadsworth Methodist Church, uh, located just east of the square. The church is a warm and inviting place, growing in spirit, serving in joy. Uh, the church invites you to join them for worship, small group study, and next week, the Vacation Bible School for children of all ages. How about that? A Studebaker Fire Chief's car. Doesn't tell us anything about that car, but... And behind that is the East of Chicago Pizza Company. Now, that, that's... These are all Studebakers. These car, when these cars came out, everybody made fun of them. They said, oh, you can't tell whether they're going backward or forward because their design was so 
different from cars that had been on the road before them. So uh, now they're great classic vehicles. There's Judge Jill Heck, Court of Common Pleas, Probate Juvenile Division. And we got some more twirlers on their way. As you catch some of the... Some of the folks just sitting yeah, enjoying the Yeah, lazy, hazy mm -hmm. summer night. This is the Imperial Cadets Baton Corps, an all-volunteer organization that started in 1974. They are based in Worcester. Their ages range from three to 17. The feature twirler there in the front is Melissa Zarella, and juvenile head twirler is Kendra Dirchi. Imperial cadets are directed under Donna Jean Smith. Here comes the sun, yeah? That's, the sun's here, <laughs> that's for sure. We're getting a little relief from it now. I think we're in the shadow here. The problem is, Joanne, only one side of my body's gonna have sun because I, <laughs> was in my one side of my body had sun on it the whole time. The other side was kind of in the shade, we'll see. Tomorrow you'll have to sit out and- The opposite uh, way, yes. Yeah. I think uh, we're going to see Grace Lutheran Church yeah, coming up here now. You see it on your mo uh, screen right now. Um, next week, the Grace, Grace Lutheran Church, which is across from City Hall, uh, will be having its Bible school starting the 24th through Thursday, June 28th. Um, and that's... Um, uh, their theme is Building a Better World. It's open to all ages at no cost. Uh, you know, that uh, church is a very unique Right next church. door to where you work, huh? Right, exactly. It was built in 1917. And uh, the, the uh, pastoral team of um, Pastor Dan Cameron and Pastor Ann Painter are they are husband and wife so they the church is quite unique in having um, a husband and wife team as pastors summer services are at 7 p.m on thursday evenings and sunday mornings at 9 15. well that building you work in joanne is no youngster itself no the it's old civic center right okay now we are looking at the Balloon Festival and uh, advertising for the Balloon Festival and Perfect pic Picture Photography. Uh, it's a local studio that has the perfect picture at the perfect price. And let's not forget, we're going to have the Balloon Festival this year. that the Balloon Festival, or the event, is going to be September 20th at the Wadsworth Square and the 21st and the 23rd of September um, at the airport. House of Wilhelm went by. That's at 235 High Street. And they have a gift shop and garden retreat featuring birdhouses, furniture, garden set, statuary, flags, heritage lace, doilies, curtains, and wind chimes. They have Russ and Ty collectible bears and lots of other stuff. 335-5120 is the phone number for House of Wilhelm. The Wadsworth Hunt Club went by. They have a yearly fish fry, and they honor those who went beyond the call of duty. And 
We just saw our Medina County prosecutor, Dean Holloway. He's been the prosecutor since 1989. And here are the swinging stars. Uh, the Swinging Stars is a dance, square dance group. They've been dancing since 1970. And um, I, I want to point out that uh, they meet er the second Saturday of each month, September through May, at the Center for Older Adults. And they invite everyone who's interested to come and join them in dancing. Bank One is a local financial institution and walking with the employees that you see there is their mascot ditch it <laughs> rather appropriate i guess now let's see i think we have on our screen medina county treasurer uh, John Burke. He's currently in his third term as treasurer of Medina County. Um, he invests an average of $63 million per day and since 1993 has earned over $22 million from Medina County residents. Akron Tractor and Equipment Incorporated. Uh, now there's a... Uh, <laughs> don't, kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> I'm sure every parent who's seeing this is thinking that, oh my, we don't want the kids to try this. They've been serving local homeowners, farmers, landscapers, and contractors since 1964. And they've got a number of tractors here in the parade this year. And these ones you see coming up on the float range from a 1921 Fordson tractor to a 2001 Super Steer New Hollard to a zero turning radius grasshopper mower. This float is manned by Akron tractor employees and their families. Quite a, it's quite a float with those tractors on it. Coming up here is Ohio Fur. Uh, it's a group for fans of certain animals and mascots in the greater Ohio area. And the costumes are handmade and represent several hundred hours of work each. And of course, some of these little mascots appear at um, games and sporting events, all kinds of neat things. They want to make sure we get to see them. <laughs> Ideal graphic design, this year's Outstanding Business of the Year. A full service graphic design and sign business. They just relocated to 126 North Pardee Street. Stop in and see the new pl place. If you can think it, we can ink it is their motto. Sugar Daddies, Custard and Grinders. They have something for everyone to enjoy from custard and sundaes to grinders with top quality meats. In case you don't know, a grinder is like a sub sandwich. Located on Broad Street, right across the street from the Blue Sky Drive-In. And volleyball is now available. They have a sand volleyball lot there out behind their business. So come out and play some volleyball. Wadsworth Transmission Service. They've been a part of the community for over 45 years. Owned and operated by Bob Gerbrick with the company's four technicians, Dwayne Cottrell, Todd Hamblin, John Heller, and Jim Nestor. They offer the community over 145 years of experience. Okay, now let's see, coming up here, uh, we have uh, the candidates for school board. Sharon Wire is a Wadsworth City School Board candidate. I I believe we'll see her on this float, and she's endorsed and accompanied by Chuck Feaster, 
a Wadsworth City School Board member. And as you can see, they have a little one-room schoolhouse on their float. Lovely. Dave Miller is also a candidate for Wadsworth School Board. The United Twirlers are celebrating their fifth year. Junior feature twirler is, oh boy, another name I have to tackle here. Melanie Wolader. I'm real sorry if I mispronounced those. We get these scripts just shortly before the parade. Not much time to look them over, but and the juvenile feature, uh, I already said that. The features along with the group have won numerous first and second place awards. We like to have fun and hopefully our smiles show that. They represent Western Stark County, Maslin, Tuslaw, and Fairless schools. And they practice at Tuslaw High School. Okay, we're seeing them right now. Okay, now we're looking at uh, the unit from the Medina County Park District. Uh, the Park District is celebrating its 36th anniversary this year. Uh, the w Wolf Creek Environmental Education Center in Tar Sharon Township just opened last fall. This facility is unique in that it targets schools and other organized groups to better educate them about our environment. And um, I have been there several times now, and it is really wonderful. Uh, it is just a great place to go out and um, commune with nature, I guess you'd say. We are very fortunate that we have wonderful parks in this county. Hey, did we see the sheriff of Mayberry there? I see Barney Fife. <laughs> uh, okay, here's artistic styles and files. And the Backer Funeral Home. I guess that that was the um, uh, Barney Fife. The Andy Griffith <laughs> show, yeah. yes, is from... Okay, and uh, we also want to recognize the Wadsworth Area Historical Society. And following them is the Junior Historical Society, the Junior Division of the Wadsworth Area Historical Society. Well, we have a little lull here. Uh, I, th I think it would be nice to... Uh, go back, uh, the uh, Backer Funeral Home, uh, that uh, sheriff car was a 1962 Ford Galaxy. It has been restored by the funeral home, and it is a replica of the Mayberry Squad car used on the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, Backer Funeral Home is proud to be part of the Wadsworth community. Okay, coming up here is the Galaxy Restaurant. The Galaxy Restaurant and Banquet Center offers fine dining, a sports bar, banquet facilities, bakery, and a coffee shop. The atmosphere is out of this world. Stop by if the Galaxy is located at I-76 on Route 94 in Wadsworth. And it's a wonderful place if you haven't been there. Make sure you go.
And following the galaxy is the van from the Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites. If it, this features 74 beautiful rooms, including 24 suites. They have an indoor exercise pool, fitness center, sauna, whirlpool, business center, and a complimentary deluxe continental breakfast. We are now... They're right next to the galaxy. We are now in the final third of our parade. Springtime carpet cleaners went by in their van. And here's the Northeast Ohio Dance Ensemble. They're beginning their 16th year of providing entertaining and educational dance performance to the Wadsworth area. And they offer classes in ballet, modern dance, and jazz for ages three to adults. CVS. The CVS employees have with them today their roll of film mascot. Where is that? Uh, don't see him. He rolled away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or he got developed. Jeez. <laughs> uh. Kimmel Heating and Air Conditioning is a heating and air conditioning business in Wadsworth. The owner is Mike Kimmel. Coming up here is the Medina County Animal Shelter, the dog warden. They There's their roll of film oh mascot. Oh yeah, the roll <laughs> of film didn't get developed. There it's it behind is. a couple spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, they, I just wanted to mention about the animal shelter. They uh, give um, license checks and pounding of stray dogs answering stray dog complaints, etc. And coming up right behind them is Creekside Animal Clinic. Um, the owner is Dr. Michelle Messner, uh, Dr. Holly Trokey, and staff members Carol, Robin, Jenny, Tracy, Lee, and Ruthie. And a few little pets on the float, too. Chippewa Valley Bank at 1052 High Street, built in 1989 is celebrating their 12th year, local community bank that features friendly personal customer service in both business and personal financial services. That's Chippewa Valley Bank. Pigs at seven, huh? Oh, now here's a good one. They are a group of friends who meet at various locations at 7 p.m. once a month. What's the si significance of pigs, though? I have no idea. They meet at various locations once a month at 7 o'clock. Do you want to be a pig? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And here we are with another gap in the action, as you see on your screen. Uh, well, John, you know, I'm, I'm going to kind of go back to um, the animal shelter because uh, I did want to say a few more things about uh, the uh, what the dog warden's office uh, does. Uh, they will I also issue citations to dog owners for stray or unlicensed dogs and they do take pride in their current dog spay and neuter program uh, for dogs adopted from the Medina County Animal Shelter. And in the truck today is Deputy Warden Gary Frederick and Brian Garrick. Could take this time to uh, thank everyone that's helped us bring you today's parade for television purposes. We have uh, WCTV employees Matt Wagar and Dave Allman. We also have Ken Buck, Tyler Doyle, and Chris Woosnam here helping out today. I'm John Bernard and Joanne Kane joining me. So as this is an annual event for the community, it's an annual event for us to come down here and, and tape it. And I know a lot of people like to, even though they sit through it, they like to watch it again. Or if they couldn't make it for whatever reason, this parade will be airing all week long, I'm sure, on our channels, so tune in. I, I think it's really wonderful for a lot of people who are unable to 
come down to uh, the parade route, to sit along the parade route, to be able to watch this. And I know a lot of seniors watch it. Uh, I was just mentioning to John before we started that I think this is about the 14th or 15th year I've been doing this. So um, it is an annual event, and I always look forward to it. Okay, the music you're hearing belongs to the Musicians Bargain Basement. Steve Conley's original Musicians Bargain Basement in Akron is a used and new musical gear dealer with the best prices on cash outs, trades, consignments, products, and service. Steve is the singing drummer here with his Musicians Bargain Basement All-Star Bank and also featuring his dancing daughters, Stephanie and Julia. I don't see the dancers, but. Okay, now we're looking at um, a float from Bradley's of Wadsworth. Bradley's is located on College Street, and I'm sure many folks in the area have Enjoyed a good meal there. Coming right up behind them is Goodyear Gemini of Wadsworth. They're located on Great Oaks Trail. And um, as you can see, they, they have a mini 18-wheeler, too. We're looking um, at a Buick. That's just inching off your screen. That's from Magic City Body Repair. And they've served the Tri-County area since 1947. Family owned and operated by Mark and Mornin Kulsar of Wadsworth. I don't know what year that uh, vehicle is. It's a beautiful car. Coming up behind uh, them are the uh, Medina County Republican uh, Committee, well, the Wadsworth, the Wadsworth Republicans. Sorry, yeah. Wadsworth Republicans. Uh, there are seven vehicles. They were, um, they were all are all courtesy of uh, Bob Serpentini. We have Jim Renacci, current president of City Council, running again in um, November. We have Dave Hammerly, our Wadsworth City Treasurer. Uh, the Silverado pickup is carrying all three current Republican Council at Large officials. And each of those are running again in November. Robin Laba, Walt Gehring, and Tom Baldwin. Uh, we have John Moss, a Republican auditor for don't, the city. Don't even see John. No, I don't see him either, but there's Dan Keenan right there. Ward 1 Councilman. He's my councilman. Running again in November. <laughs> and Bob Park, member of the Wadsworth Fire Department, is the Republican candidate running for Ward 3 in November. I think we lost a couple of cars along the way, John. I didn't count seven there. I think they got lost up the street. I did mention, I think, that the cars are courtesy of Bob Serpentini, Perry Chevrolet.
Okay, now we have Ray Moser, a longtime resident of Wadsworth. Uh, he's running for councilman from Ward 4. And his vehicle comes from Premier Pontiac GMC in Rittman. Current Ward 2 Councilman Craig Hassinger. He's running again as a Republic candidate in Ward 2. And he is joined by his dad, Neil Hassinger, Wadsworth resident, and the Medina County Sheriff. And their car also is from Premier Pontiac GMC in Rittman. Folks, don't forget to register to vote in November. Your vote does count, and uh, remember what happened last year in the presidential election in Florida. So come on, Wadsworth, get out and vote. Uh, it's very important, and every vote really does count. Uh, John, did you know that uh, this year the Republicans are handing out 300 pounds of candy along the parade route? Mm. So, hey, did we get any? I guess we got a few pieces along here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, now Jazzercise is approaching us, the world's largest dance fitness program. Currently, there are over 5,000 instructors worldwide. Jazzercise combines dance and exercise moves to today's hottest music. For information on Jazzercise and Wadsworth, you can log on to www.jazzercise.com. Hey, now those ladies look like they are having a good time. Even though it's hot, they're having fun. And they all look like they're having fun. You're the most energetic looking group we've had passed by here so far. And here are the junior jazzercisers. This is team jazzercise. This is a specialized dance fitness program bringing friendship, fitness, and fun for boys and girls ages 5 to 15. And they are located in the same location as the adult jazzercise in the professional center right here in Wadsworth. Ritzman Natural Health Pharmacy has been serving this community for over 51 years. Come and see the difference vitamins can make in your life. Ritzman thanks you for allowing us to be part of the community. We're seeing the before vitamins people and in a minute we're going to see what happens after people start taking vitamins. <laughs> Look at the difference here, folks. See yeah. those bedraggled before vitamin people? Now, take a look at what happens after vitamins. These folks all look happy and healthy, raring to go.
Here's one of the sponsors of this year's Blue Tip Festival, Pizzazio's Pizza. And they are handing out Frisbees, and these kids are just going wild over the Frisbees. And coming up behind Pizzazio's is the Medina County District Library. Uh, County, Medina County Bookmobile celebrated 52 years of service to Medina County. Applebee's. They're uh, right here in the pickup truck tossing out kids' cups, and they're asking that you join them to try some of their new featured menu items. Coming up behind Applebee's is Wadsworth Electric and Communication. These are some of the employees of the Wadsworth um, Electric and Communication and their families. Public power, reliable, local, yours. We're very fortunate to live in a city that it has public power. And uh, of course, when you have the Republicans, you got to have the Democrats. And here come the Wadsworth Democratic Party, Charlie Bowes, Colin Cranston, Brian Hawkinsmith, Ray Hogan, Donald Baker. Shirley Casey, John Sharkey, Linda Chatlosh, and Vicki Sussman riding on the antique fire truck. Most of them are walking and oh, they're smiling. They're having a good time. This is the visiting nurse service equipment and supplies vehicle. It's a home medical equipment company that has served Wadsworth and the greater Akron community for 17 years. They provide home oxygen service, beds, wheelchairs, bathroom equipment, and other items to meet all your needs. Give them a call or tell your physician to ask for visiting nurse service equipment and supplies. Okay, here are some folks from Dots. Are you tired of the same old outfits? Well, if you shop at Dots, you can find the hottest summer fashions and the coolest summer values all in one place. The Wadsworth Running Club is a small group of running enthusiasts that range from Boston marathoners, dual athletes to recreational running. The club sponsors and coordinates the Wadsworth Running Club Four Mile Classic Race every March. Next year, we'll mark the 20th annual event. All proceeds from that race are given in scholarship money for the Wadsworth High School track and cross country athletes. This year's recipients were Dan Digman and Faith Syriac. The running club meets the first Monday of every month at 7 p.m. at Steiner Youth Center. And coming up here is Bob's Windy Ridge Nursery. We're gonna see their uh, vehicle here in just a minute. They've been serving the community since 1972. They're located at 7896 Ridge Road, and they are a quality source for aquatic, landscape, and perennial plants. And isn't that a neat old truck? And look how nice it looks with all that foliage and flowers in it. I wish my yard looked half that good. <laughs> the Firm Fitness Center making some changes and now offers new aerobic classes. Personal training and a massage, a kids fitness program will be held on Tuesday and Thursday on the first four weeks of July. Well, there are, there are only four weeks in July. What does that mean, only the first four weeks of July? Anyways, come in and see our new colors and register to win a three-month membership. Okay, and now we're looking at TJ Shannon Construction. Here they are with their talent and hard work, talented and hardworking employees. You can call them for any of your home improvement needs. You 
you can see that they have a website, www.tjshannon.com. Sharon Printing Company, not on our list, but they're next in line. And they have on their float members of the softball here in Wadsworth, uh, Youth Baseball and Softball Association, T-Ball Dodgers and Marlins. up behind them we have River Sticks Market. It's located in the heart of downtown River Sticks. Where else? <laughs> There's and nothing else there, is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's your local NASCAR merchandise and collectibles headquarters and it's also a good place to get a great ice cream cone. You can see them also on the World Wide Web at www.riverstickscollectibles.com. So Monte Carlo passing by, representing River Sticks Market. Tropical Tan and Fitness. Here in Wadsworth, 335 3355. And behind them, Payless Shoe Source. Mentioned that you saw Payless Shoe, saw, Shoe Source here on WCTV, and they'll give you 10% off your total purchase price. Huh, I didn't know we were uh, involved in that deal. What's our cut on that? <laughs> well, anyways. Stop in again at Wadsworth Payless Shoe Source. Mention that you saw them on cable and they'll give you 10% off your purchase. Their hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday from 12 to 5. Okay, here we have World Truck and Towing and Recovery. Uh, it's a locally owned and operated company. They've been here for over 30 years. They're a proud owner of Ohio's largest rotating wrecker, owned and operated by Mike Schoen. They're a rapidly growing company with 14 wreckers and four service trucks at two locations in Medina and Norwalk. And that is some truck. Actually, there are two trucks. Looking at them, I'd guess there wouldn't be wouldn't be much they couldn't um, tow out. <laughs> Douglas Custom Construction. Presents Just Horsin' Around, brought to you by the Wellday siblings who are former Wadsworth students, Carl, Crystal, and Corey. Carl's a retired Air Force Staff Sergeant, and his son Lee collected Mardi Gras beads and brought them from Mississippi. Corey, owner of Douglas Custom Construction, resides in Akron and will be driving in the Open Demolition Derby at the Medina County Fair. Crystal's daughter Jessica is a member of Just Horsin' Around 4-H Club of Medina County, and they will see you at the Medina County Fair.
Dinah County Fair is going to be coming up before we know it. Got my Mardi Gras beads. Hey, John, there's a candy bar lying right out there in the street, and everybody's running over it. Go out and grab it. <laughs> oh, do you want it? I don't. No. I don't need it. <laughs> okay, now we have the, uh, I think you can hear coming up here is the North American Indian Cultural Center. Uh, it's a nonprofit social service center serving the American Indian community in the state of Ohio. And they also provide cultural awareness programs featuring speakers, dancers, and singers in the American Indian community. We're just kind of letting you watch this unit as it goes by because it is it's very interesting and um, there, there are quite a lot of uh, participants in it. some stragglers from the fire truck uh, lineup about an hour ago. <laughs> hey, that's good. We have to have a few to finish off the parade here, don't we? Yes, we are nearing the end, so glad you could join us once again on WCTV for the Blue Tip Parade. Always kicking off the Blue Tip Festival here in Wadsworth, Ohio, every June. I think we're going to have a really good week the rest of the week. So It is everybody. actually supposed to cool down a little yeah. bit, uh, make it a little more comfortable for everybody. Today it was around 90 degrees for a high, and it's supposed to be oh, mid-70s to 80 the rest of the week. Well, we could be in Phoenix. I think it's about 110, 110 out yeah. there. <laughs> so <laughs> we can be happy we're here in Wadsworth. Here Thanks. comes one of the most visible and popular attractions, the First Merit Bank stagecoach and team of horses maintained by First Merit Bank 
Old Phoenix. The original Old Phoenix stagecoach was a copy of a Concord coach built by Abbott and Downing in Concord, New Hampshire. The Concord coach was popular in the U.S. as early as 1828 when stages were the way to travel before trains came along. This copy was built in 1937 for the movie Stagecoach starring the Duke, John Wayne. In the 1800s, the bank actually did run stage lines, one of which went from Medina to Worcester and back. First Merit Bank Old Phoenix is keeping up tradition by continuing the stagecoach experience today. And Mason Whitlam is celebrating his fourth birthday today, one of the riders on that entry. So happy birthday, Mason. These, I believe, are the Caballeros. This is a 4-H club. Uh, buckskin riders, Caballeros. Uh, they are a group of neighbors and friends who ride together looking for adventure in Norton. Caballeros 4-H club has their primary center in Norton, too. Well, like they say, Where's stuff the guy happens. with the shovel? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, well, that's why they come. They're the last or almost the last unit the, in the parade. Yeah, the Wadsworth Street Department. Right. I think well, you might hear some people saying that's not in their job description. Yes. <laughs> well, we've got the First Merit Stagecoach and Horses 18-wheeler uh, following. And there's the guy with the shovel. Yeah. Picking up the rem remnants. Oh, yes. Got to love it. <laughs> and that should do it, folks, because one of Wadsworth's finest is tailing the first Merit 18 wheeler and uh, I don't see the uh, street cleaner which usually is at the tail end of every blue tip parade so that's it well folks we're we're really glad we could be with you this evening glad you could uh, join us to see the parade and uh, we certainly hope that you have a wonderful week hope you'll go down and participate in the festivities uh, the rest of the week at Memorial Park and um, have a wonderful time. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in and continue to tune in to WCTV. Uh, always a lot of new and interesting programs going on at your local access station. Come on up, make our, your own program on anything you wish. And before you know it, it'll be time for Wadsworth Grizzly football on WCTV. I'll be bringing you all that action along with our whole crew coming up at the end of August, right before school starts. So everyone enjoy the rest of your summer and we'll see you next time. So, so long everybody. Good night everyone. <laughs>